Well, welcome to this session. Uh, the IDS is really happy to have Mark Romano of Now Media Group. He's CEO of Mar Now Media Group, which has been around for 15 years. I was impressed when I went to a lecture. And Mark is uh, now um, uh, has analyzed us and uh, I think will be working with us. His approach is so comprehensive that it was something that I thought was important to share with you. So, Mark, welcome to this IDS seminar. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Sheldon, for having me. Uh, I do appreciate the time uh, and the introduction to your community. So, Mark, when you and I got together, essentially, I, sent, I, I attended a lecture and you did a survey and of, of what somebody was doing with their website. Mm -hmm. And you were looking at it specifically with regard to search engine optimization. Maybe we ought to start there. I'm actually, why don't we talk about you first and what you do, and then, then we'll go into the, the details of exactly of the mechanics that we, uh, that, that we went through and that we're going through together right now. Perfect. Very good. So, yeah, uh, again, I've been in business for over 15 years. Uh, I run a full scale uh, marketing company and an advertising agency specialized in the dental space. So near 100 percent of our customer base are general dentists and dental specialists all across the U.S. and Canada. Uh, and we take a comprehensive approach to helping you leverage and get the most you possibly can out of your online strategy. Uh, we're very data driven. Uh, you know, we basically start uh, by looking at things from, you know, I basically, a cue to what I do is taking a CBCT scan of your online presence. Uh, and really, we really go out there and look at everything that Google's looking for. And we identify many things that we can do to help you uh, get more better positioning on the search engines. Uh, and uh, that will in turn yield you more patience, hopefully. So that's good. So when you... <clears throat> When you did this, when you did this for, um, well, let's talk about what you do and how you and I, after I went to the lecture, what we did and the offer that you have. It's, I think it's important that people know right up so, front the offer that you have. Yeah. Anyone that's interested, uh, I will run a full-blown analysis of your entire online presence. And I will look at everything from your website to your link structure, to your content, to your local SEO strategy, reviews. I have a beautiful piece of software that I use that scans your online presence the exact same way that Google does. And it will identify everything that's working and everything that's falling in line with the Google search engine guidelines. And it will also identify everything that's not working. And it will give us a very clear picture on exactly what needs to be updated, what needs to be improved, or what needs to be changed in order for Google to look at you more favorably. This is it was a free service that Mark provided that essentially sold our office on the idea the, of of working with Mark. So, Mark, let's come up with an example. You've got an example there of the free service that you provide, and that was so compelling to me that I thought it would be beneficial to everybody who's watching this today. Sure, absolutely. I'll give you an example of something recent I've done for a practice, uh, and uh, I'll go ahead and share my screen here, and then I'll roll, I'll pull up, there's gonna be two reports, and I'll show you everything that we look for, uh, and we'll give you a typical audit presentation and what, I'll, what I would do with anyone that was interested in having us take a look at their online presence and exactly how I go through it. Good. All right, so let's start with this, mm -hmm. hit share, and do we see this? Yep, I see it perfectly. Perfect. So this is Polly Dental. Uh, this is someone that uh, I've just recently started working with. This is a report that I ran uh, recently here for this practice. Uh, and this is called a citation tracker. So the citation tracker essentially here is a list of every single third party reference to this practice. This is a list of every directory listing, every map listing, every review website that has any mention to this practice's name or any link to it via address or phone number, right? So what you'll see here is a list of a whole bunch of different websites, many of which we're familiar with, like the obvious uh, Google and Facebook, Bing and Yelp, you know. Many of these websites we may have never heard of before and certainly don't use in our online searching on the internet but the important thing to remember here is that Google does, 
right? So what they do is they're going to cross-reference the information on all of these third-party websites, directory listings, and review websites. And what they're doing is they're scraping data. And part of that process is allowing them to learn and have an understanding of who this practice is, where they're located, and what services they provide. So why is this important? Uh, having this filled out, right? So this is a list of the 100 places that Google goes. In this case, this practice is listed in 51 of those 100 places. This is going to have a direct impact in how you show up in Google Maps, right? So if someone is within a five to seven mile radius of your practice and goes online and does a search for dentist or dentist near me or local dentist or best dentist or emergency dentist, and of course the list of keywords goes on and on, I want to make sure that you're listed properly in the Google Maps section, which is going to be at the very top of the page and Google is only going to feature three practices in that map section, right? So it's prime real estate. It gives people an idea of where you're located. It provides them with a list of services that you offer, and it also exposes them to the reviews that you have for your office. So in this case, this practice is listed well. I see a few discrepancies and a few things that need to be cleaned up here, but the main takeaway here is we do need to plug them into all the places where they are missing information. Now I'm going to click on their Google listing here. And this is home base for this practice. This is the Google business profile. This is the Google map listing for the office. So we're going to have the basics. We're going to have the name of the practice. We're going to have the reviews here. We're going to have the category, right? They are a dentist in Wichita, Kansas. Now Google allows you to choose up to five categories. So we have different ones that are available to you, whether you're an oral surgeon or a periodontist or a general dentist or an orthodontist, we would choose an appropriate category and then we can choose some subcategories as well. Uh, Google provides you with the ability to choose areas of service, right? So here we can choose different zip codes, different geographic coordinates, any suburbs, communities, housing developments, towns that you wish to draw from, this is where we let Google know what your areas of service would be. Uh, they allow us to promote different services. So any procedures or products or services that you wanna promote, this is where you can do it. Now, currently on the uh, information here is missing. Uh, we are going to be adding it. Uh, we've just started working with this practice, so look out for that. But this is uh, really important in addition to reviews, right? What you wanna see here, our reviews coming in on a consistent basis, but more importantly, we wanna see these responses. So this practice is doing it right. Google takes a look at this, they factor it into their algorithm. The philosophy is if a customer took the time to write something nice about you, you should take the time to acknowledge and thank. So we wanna make sure that you're responding to these reviews. Uh, something else you can do here are updates. Google allows this space down here where we can add different pieces of content and we can do this on as frequent a basis as you like. Uh, typically we wanna do this weekly, but that links to the website, right? So this is a good place where we can go and we can promote content and we can update the latest services for the practice. So these are all things to take into consideration uh, when looking at your local SEO strategy. Now there's another report here I'd like to share and this is the website audit. So this is very technical, and this is gonna go through the entire website. This is gonna show me everything I need to know from a technical standpoint uh, and from an optimization standpoint. So we'll go over this together. So included in the audit that we do for every practice, this is the first step in my communication with any office, uh, is we run this level of reporting. So we're gonna get a report card here at the top, which is gonna give me some idea on how well this website is structured and how well it's optimized. We're gonna go and see how many links are flowing through this website, the age of the domain, that's certainly a factor in the search engine uh, algorithm. It's going to go out there and look for various keywords that are embedded into this website, the main keywords, and it's going to give me an idea of how they're ranking. So here in this case, we've got 
Dentist as a keyword, rank 57. Cosmetic Dentist, 32. Restorative Dentist, number 40. Uh, their top performing keyword is full mouth rehabilitation, in which they're the number one result. So there's certainly some room for improvement here uh, in the rankings, and we'll identify how we can get them some better results as we go deeper into this report. Uh, here we have a smaller version of the citation report we looked at a few moments ago. Uh, but again, we do want to make sure that the name of the business, the address, and the phone number is as consistent as it can possibly be across the web. One thing Google loves is accuracy and consistency. And then we get into reviews. So this is going to go through everything Facebook, Google, Yelp, and identify how many total reviews we have. And this practice has done a stellar job of accumulating reviews. I mean, it's just perfect. Uh, so we definitely like to see that. And then here we have the Google Business Profile Audit. So if I was sitting in Wichita, Kansas, and I pulled out my phone or I went to my computer and I just typed in dentist or dentist near me, this is going to show me where this practice is located, which is number 12. It's going to show me how many photos they have in their listing, how many reviews they have, and the category that they've selected to promote their business. It's also going to show me 10 other listings, not necessarily competitors, but these are practices that are listed alongside them on Google Maps. And here we get very technical. So this report will go through and show me page speed. It will show me if there are any broken links, any broken pages, uh, any issues with security or loading times, to which this website is doing quite well. Structurally, it is sound. It loads up quickly. You know, we're missing some titles and we're missing some descriptions, which we'll get into a little further. Uh, we've got a few image tags that are missing. Again, this is very technical information, but the algorithm and Google do pay attention to this. So we want to make sure that we've got, you know, a technically sound website. And where we're going to get the most uh, takeaway here is in the appendix. So this piece of software is going to go through every individual page of this 68 page website. So we've got every page listed here individually, one through 68. And the software tells me what the page is. It tells me how it's titled. So essentially, what is it optimized for? It provides me with the meta tag. And then it tells me if there's any particular issue within that page itself. So the software doesn't say there's an issue with the website. It pinpoints exactly where that issue might be and how we go and fix it. So here you'll see page title. This is going to be the very first thing that Google reads, right? So in this case, we've got dentist in Wichita, dental office in Wichita, and Wichita cosmetic dentist. This is where you tell Google what you are or who you are, where you're located, and what you do, right? Uh, and then we have the meta tag. The meta tag is going to be the second thing that Google looks at. The meta tag is supposed to be 160 characters or less, and it's supposed to be an abbreviation or a description of what this page of content is. So here in this case, we've got some red. Red tells me that this meta tag is about 80 characters too long. So we want to make sure that all that all falls within the guidelines. And then it goes through the page. You know, is it secure? Yes. Is it fast? Yes. Do we have any alt tags that are missing? Do we have any broken links within that page? And do I have sufficient content? To which the answer to all these questions is yes. But as we continue down through, you know, we've got a blog here missing a title and missing a page description. So that needs to be corrected. Schema data. Schema is a piece of code that we embed into your website that essentially connects it with the Google business profile. That's something that Google looks for, and it is missing on this page, which is page number two, and that's the blog for the website. And we're not going to go through every individual page, but we'll give you some more examples here. Page number three is the porcelain veneers page. In this case, it is titled as veneers in Wichita or veneers Wichita. It should say porcelain dental veneers. Veneers can mean a number of things. That's not specific enough for me or Google. So that would be something that we would want to update. Uh, we've got 647 words on this page. 
And the minimum that we're looking for typically is between five and 600 words per page. So we'll go through this entire website page by page. And we've got some websites that are 10 or 15 pages large, and we've got websites that are 200 plus pages. And we will make sure that every page title and every meta tag and every page of content has got the right tags, the right schema data, the right amount of content, so that Google views this as a properly written and properly optimized website. The goal here is to make sure that you are going to be not only on the front page of Google in your area for all the applicable keywords, but we also want to make sure that you are as close to the top as you can be. So by being listed in the map and being listed organically, we are, our goal essentially is to build equity for you on the search engines, to build market share, to have Poly Dental show up in as many places as it possibly can when people are doing searches online, thus giving this practice the opportunity to earn that click. You know, we'll have people go to the website. We'll obviously want to make sure that the website presents well and navigates properly and has got the right conversion elements uh, to earn that phone call or earn that email into the practice. So again, this is something that we do for every office that requests it. This is something that is completely available to anyone that's looking for it at, at absolutely no charge and no obligation whatsoever. We're happy to do this for anybody. Uh, and uh, we hope to uh, be able to speak with you soon. So thank you, Dr. Sheldon, for allowing me to present this. Thank you, Mark. Let me get back on camera. Um, let me Let me go to some things that I think I know, and I probably don't, so that's why I'm... I'm asking the question. Okay, so um, we've been very prominent in our own practice in marketing, and we um, decided uh, with our website provider uh, to go to Google Advertising. Mm -hmm. And the thought was this, that we could get bang for the buck with Google Advertising. I'm talking about 15 years ago, so we're not talking about something that, that's current. Um, in fact, I'm not sure, even sure... Google reviews were available at that time when we started doing doing this Google advertising. If it was, we certainly weren't spending a lot of time on reviews. Mm -hmm. We did spend a lot of time, therefore, we spent a lot of money on on, on Google advertising, and it was effective. Mm -hmm. And we spent a reasonable amount of time with a number of different providers, including a, a current provider that's been, that's been great for us, Nexhelp, uh, mm -hmm. in order to be able to provide... Uh, Easy access to Google reviews, and 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 each time we go with a new provider, we do better and better and better with with regard to reviews. And we've got over five hundred reviews. We we think we're okay. Right. Um, are we okay at over five hundred reviews? Five hundred is a good number. Okay. Uh, it really does stick out in, in a very good way when people are looking at them. So yes, okay. yeah. If I'm looking at Google advertising, Google wants to sell advertising. That's how they make money. That um, is their main goal. Yes. Yeah. So. You, by providing optimal SEO, are mm -hmm. going to provide prominence, but Google has the option of providing more pro prominence by using Google advertising and putting that closer to the top of the page. Mm -hmm. How much of a difference does that make? Or does it make a difference at all? It makes a difference as in it's another opportunity for you to create exposure for your practice. So ideally, you're in the maps. Ideally, you're at the top organically. You're earning that business. Google's very merit-based, right? So you're going to get out of it what you put into it. So by having a properly optimized website, by having sufficient content, by having sufficient reviews, by giving Google everything they're looking for, they will reward you with organic and local position, which, thankfully, you don't have to pay for on a per-click per basis. But that advertising space, the Google ads, is at the very, very top of the page, and that's prime real estate. We've got two opportunities now. We've got the traditional Google ads, which is the pay-per-click advertising we're all familiar with. And last year, Google came out with something called Google Verified. So at the very top of the page, there are two places where you can create some additional market share for yourself, some additional exposure. Using Google ads to promote a service or a procedure or have a promotion or a new patient special or something that you really want to highlight and focus. The main goal shouldn't be all Google ads all the time. It's a balance where we've got, you know, visibility across the board where people are able to find you easily as they come back and look for these dental searches. So I agree. Google wants to make money uh, and they do a pretty good job at it by selling advertising space, but it shouldn't be the entire strategy for your practice. So having a good balanced marketing portfolio or diversity on the search engines is what we aim to deliver.
Have you seen, have you had experience where you go in and you optimize SEO and people are therefore able to spend less money on Google advertising? Many times. Yeah, we are able to get that visibility where we are reducing their ad spend to the point where we're just using it for a certain procedure, whether it be Invisalign or dental implants or porcelain veneers, but the bulk of the traffic is coming in via maps or organic search. Okay. Let's cover it. Yeah, in some cases eliminating it altogether, depending on the size of the market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so in a more competitive area, then obviously we have to spend more money in order to be able to get that prominence because we're competing with that many more more dental practices. Um, if well, that would be true for in in Google My Business. If you're doing um, not Google My Business, but Google Advertising, where the pay per click would be higher. In other words, you have to put out more money in order to be able to be at the top of the page. Um, how many people optimize SEO the way you optimize SEO? What percentage? Uh, I would say about a quarter of the practices that I see in any given market are have some level of proper optimization. This It's not easy. It's tedious. You've got to stay on top of it. It's easy to just develop a budget and buy the ad space. Uh, but this does require involvement. Uh, okay. So we, we see that probably about 20%, 20 to 25% of the websites that we come across have some level of proper optimization. It can always be improved upon. Uh, and then we see other websites that have just got nothing going on. Now, I got to tell you, in working with Mark, um, um, I could give Mark some salesmanship lessons, maybe because there was no pressure at all. <laughs> Essentially, he said, here's the audit. You can give it to whoever you want. You can do it yourself. Yeah. I don't have to do it for you. I, and I will preface, these audits are not of my opinion. Uh, this is a software that I use that looks at you know Google the exact same way uh, that the search engines do. So anyone that takes advantage of this will get a hard copy that you can just forward on to whoever it is that you work with. If you've got a marketing company, you've got a good relationship. We're not here to disrupt anything. So uh, you can always just pass this along and have a discussion with whomever it is that you need to. Uh, that's good. Now, there were a lot of different areas that um, we, we 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 talked about, but there's some areas that we did. And so let's cover uh, Google My Business, actually populating the page with pictures and things like that. That is something we can do all by ourselves, correct? Yes. You talked about the service and making sure we, we put the right service in there, but there are other things that, that we can do as well, write articles yes. and give offers and stuff like that. Correct. Google has built to that my business platform to be end user based. So the business owner, it's tied into your Gmail account. You just log into Gmail, you hit the apps button, you go to my business, and it's as easy as can be to update your address, your phone number, your categories, your products, your services, have a link to make an appointment, respond to reviews, put new patient specials in there, add photos, involvement, involvement, involvement. That's really what Google is looking for. So you want to make sure that you're updating that as often as you can. Most practices don't have the time to do it, so they pass it along to us and we're, we're happy to do it. But it certainly is something that can be done independently on your own, and it's really not difficult at all. Okay. Um, you talked about um, that you're involved in digital advertising as well, and not just Google, but uh, I'm assuming with the other search engines as well. And you mentioned social media. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me how... Can you develop a social media campaign now? Can Will people call directly from social media? Or, or what do we do to go beyond what we're doing in populating our, um, our Facebook page or Instagram page or, or, or that type of thing in order to be able to, to get people calling us? What, what, what's some of the methodology that's involved in that? For me, social, people aren't going to Facebook or, or necessarily Instagram looking for a dentist, but they might be exposed to you as a dentist, as, as a sponsored link or some type of advertisement. Facebook and Instagram, for me, is a window into the practice. It's going to show me what it's like to be a patient. It's going to display practice culture. Uh, if I do happen to find you on social media, I, I really do believe that the next thing that people do are going to go to Google and type in the name of the practice or the name of the doctor and, and vet you there. They'll take a look at your listing. They'll take a look at the website. They'll get an idea of the services that you offer, the proximity to their home or office, and then they will absolutely read the reviews. That's where things start. That's where things end. That's what's going to generate the phone call or the email into your practice. So we want to make sure that you're well covered across the board. 
Uh, and we can buy some advertising space on Instagram and Facebook and Meta and things like that, but it's typically a very small percentage of our ad spend budget within a given practice. What kind of tracking do you do in order to be able to make sure that our ad spend is actually worthwhile spending money on? Several things. Uh, uh, Google Analytics, Google Search Console, the Google Ads dashboard is going to give us an idea of cost per click conversions, uh, things as such. We use call tracking numbers on every piece of advertising we put out there. Uh, all calls are recorded, tracked, and monitored. We listen to the calls. We'll monitor things to make sure that the patient is of quality and coming from the right area, calling about the right things. We'll make sure that these calls are answered in a timely fashion. We'll make sure that your front staff is communicating with these patients as they should be. We will know who called, where they came from, how they found you, the conversation that was had with the front staff. We'll know if and when an appointment was made. The only thing we don't know is if that person showed up that day for the consult. So communication with our clients is paramount. Uh, we try to meet with every client minimum once a month. Most clients will meet with bi-weekly to make sure that we're tracking and trending and things are working as they're supposed to. We don't have thousands of customers. Uh, we work with a core group of dental practices all across the country. So we are able to offer that time and that level of communication with, with our client base. So That's great, Mark. How do people reach you if they want to take advantage of that, uh, of so, that offer? The yeah. Our website is uh, www.nowmediagroup.tv, as in television. You can go to the website. You can fill out the form or put in the audit request. Uh, you can email me directly, uh, which is mark, M-A-R-K, at now, that's N-O-W, mediagroup.tv. Uh, and I'm happy to share my cell phone number with anybody. If you want to call or text, I can be reached uh, on my personal device at 858 3528474. And let me assure you, he can be reached on his personal advice. Ask me how I know. Mark Mark uh, responded right away as soon as I contacted him. I so. pride myself on that fact that I, I'm available and I respond very quickly and anyone will ex uh, expect no less. <laughs> Thanks. Mark Romano, good guy. I think he's somebody you can certainly learn something from. So uh, I'd encourage you to contact Mark and uh, see, uh, uh, at least find out what your website is doing and find out how optimized your website is. It's a good thing. And then you can decide whether you want to work on it step by step yourself, which you can. That was, was what was so nice about Mark. He said, here, here's what you do. You go here, you go here, here, here. Here's where you find it. Here's what you do. Here's the number of characters. Here's what's uh, what's optimal or Mark can do it for you. So uh, um, uh, I, I think it'd be a tremendous uh, service for you to to uh, get that get that audit and find out where you are and then decide what you want to do, how you want to do it, and who you want to do it with. Mark Absolutely. Romano, great, uh, great presentation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate the time. And uh, I look forward to speaking with anybody here uh, real, real soon.